to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. It's typically every Monday, Thursday, but you know, we're doing Vlogoween, so it's a little bit of everywhere this month. But I'm super, super excited. Today we are going to be going over the Hocus Pocus new release from ColourPop. I mean, it's been out a little bit, so like if you're wanting like a legit true review, I'm sure there are some like, look up Allie Dawson on here on YouTube. Does amazing videos. I love her stuff. This is going to be more just like me as a true consumer trying this out. I really love Hocus Pocus, um, if you guys haven't guessed. And I got the palette last year, which I forgot to bring downstairs. Let me go grab the palette because I want to show you. Okay, so this, I'm out of breath, man. Stairs will get you. <laughs> this was last year's palette from ColourPop, the Gather Around Sisters palette. I was so excited to get this because that whole release was insane. Let me open this up. I just want to show you the color story from last year's. Here is the outside and then this. I mean, first of all, this is super cute. But look at this color story. It's a lot more like deeper colors, kind of grungy. This is totally my vibe. I really, really liked this too. I was super happy about it. So when this, when I heard they were doing a whole new release this year and I saw the palette, I gotta say I was a little nervous because it's not super hocus pocusy to me. It seems very like cartoony hocus pocus. So I'm a little nervous about it, but like I said before, I love hocus pocus. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. I really hope so. I have the full collection. So I'm gonna go through and I just wanna show you everything we got. I will do some lip swatches. I don't think I'm gonna swatch every single eyeshadow because that might be a lot and I'm I'm not the greatest at swatches so I'm just gonna do the ones that I'll work with but yeah let's just go ahead and get into it okay so the first thing I really want to show you because I'm super excited about this is called it's a candle they released a candle and it's called who lit the black flame candle sadly it's not actually a black flame candle I don't even know how you would do that honestly but it's this really pretty I love the uh, Packaging on this deep purple is just very fall like, very like, not super cinnamon, more like all spicy. I don't know, I really like it. I'm excited. I haven't burned this yet because I was waiting to show you all. So I'm probably going to burn this as soon as after this. The next item we have is the Thackeray Binks mirror. Oh my god, I mean, you guys know I am a cat lady. So when I saw they were doing not only a Hocus Pocus mirror, but a Thackeray Binks cat mirror, you know I was in for it. Look at this. This is like holographic, shiny Thackeray Binks. And it says, I shall always be with you. It's actually a decent sized hand mirror. Like, I might try and use it while I'm doing this look actually. So we'll see, but I really like this. I think everything you can buy separately except for the candle. I think they were saying the candle is only part of if you get the full bundle. I'm happy to have this too. Next things were gonna be the Super Shock Shadow Trio. I really like their Super Shock Shadows too. I will say most of them I find, or maybe I'm just using the wrong ones, they're very shimmery, but they are kind of translucent. So they are much more toppers than they are um, like standalone shimmers, if that makes sense. Okay, so they did one for each sister. The first one is I Put a Spell on You, so obviously this is Sarah's, I think. Or no, this is Winifred's. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That's pretty, it's very like, kind of goldy. I will um, swatch all three of these on my hand once we're done. The next one, this is Mary's. It's called I Smell Children. Look at this purple shimmer, you guys. You know I'm a purple gal. I will say, Personality-wise, I think I am so much more Mary. I mean, I've got the dark hair. I love to cook. I have a good sense of smell. <laughs> and I love purple. But I also really just love Sarah's clothing style and her hair. Like the flowy kind of, I think, more stereotypical witchiness. I love Sarah's style, but Mary's personality is way more me. Which sister are you? Be honest. Are you a Mary? 
We should not be ashamed to be Marys. Marys are awesome. Let me know, comment below, which sister are you? And this last one is I am beautiful. So this is Sarah. This one is much more like orangey gold. So let me go ahead and swatch them on my hand for you. Ooh, these are buttery. Okay, so when hers is on top, hers is definitely a lot more translucent. So it would be a really, really good topper kind of shimmer. Next one is gonna be Sarah's, or no, Mary's beautiful purple. And then we have Sarah's, it's kind of like shimmery gold. So I really like those. I'm excited to play around with those. I do not know um, what, what kind of color story I'm going for with the eye look yet, but we'll see. All right, the next thing we have are the three lipsticks. These are Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. So I don't know what that means really. I've not tried this um, formula, so I'm really excited to see how it is. The colors for these look pretty interesting. We'll see, you know I, I've fallen in love with all the Kaleido stuff, so eh, they're gonna be kind of hard to beat for me. First one is Winnie's and it's purple. Oh no, it's not. Oh yes it is. It's like a deep purple. Well that's confusing, shouldn't that be Mary's? Keep with the color store there, ColourPop. Mary's is kind of like this beigey pink. Oh, let's see, Winnie's is called Tonight We Fly, so that purple one's Tonight We Fly. Mary's is called <laughs> Calming Circle. I really like that so much. Ooh, okay. Sarah's is called Hello Boys, and it's really dark. I don't know if it's 100% black. Let me just swatch all three of these, and we'll, we'll see how they look. Okay, so we have, here is Sarah's, so it is actually more of a black. There's Mary's and there's Winnie's. It's a little bit darker than it's coming off on camera. The light's kind of blowing that out. I like these. It actually feels pretty good too. So I'm curious to see how it applies on the lip and how it lasts. So I'll pick one of those to wear at the end with the eye look. All right, and it does come with a little eye stamp. This is a spider eye stamp, which is fun. I don't really do eye stamps very much, this could be cute. Let me stamp this on my head and hand and see how it looks. Okay, here's my one critique so far. It looks really fine, but man, does that ink bleed? Like, look at it. You can't even tell it's a spider anymore. It just looks like a blob. It, it definitely bleeds, so I don't know. I'd be a little nervous to apply that on my face personally. I would say you'd have to like really, really make sure your face is super powdered, I guess. And then the last thing we have is the palette. This is the Witching Hour palette. I do like the packaging. I think it's cute. I mean, it's definitely more cutesy than last year's. Let me show you the color story. Cause I know when I saw this, I've not yet seen it in person. I just saw it on um, their Instagram and their websites. So curious to see what my actual thoughts are. The front of the packaging is the same. I will say, <laughs> I like on the back, it has all the shade names in little cat heads. So that's cute. Okay, this is better than I expected. I'll say that. There is a mirror in it this time, which I do think is really nice. I do think there's a nice range between shimmers and mattes. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my eye look. I mean, I really wanna go kinda orangey, orangey yellow, but then there's a part of me that loves this dark green, and then the purple. So these, like, I do like these shades, I'm just curious to see how dark they actually are. The only thing I don't love is, like, there's the dark shade, but there's not really a mid shade to kinda, like, help buff it out. I mean, there's, like, you know, the neutral colors, but I would want like a dark purple and then maybe a slightly lighter purple to kind of help mesh it out. Let me take a second and figure out what I want to do and then we'll come back and we'll get to going with the look. Okay, so let me zoom in. I'm priming my eyelids right now, just a little bit of concealer. I would normally use eye primer, but I left it upstairs and I'm not going back up there again, so. <laughs> Okay, all primed. You guys haven't seen me without glasses before, huh? I look a little different, right? <laughs> well, here you go. I can see without glasses. I just have a really bad astigmatism, so if I don't wear glasses, I get headaches. So it's like, I can see, I can read, everything's fine. I just, everything gets slightly off and I get headaches. So that's why I wear glasses, but I'll be able to see what I'm doing, no worries. <laughs> okay, so I swatched some things. I think I'm gonna try something that may or may not work out. I wanna do kind of a little bit of the orange into the purple and do like kind of like a, a sunset kind of look, if that makes sense. Um, these are, I'm using a bunch of the bling brushes. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. I really, really like their brushes and they have a really nice eye set. This is the Starry Night ones. First of all, I mean, look at that. 
look how shimmery and they're pretty good prices too for a small a small business so let's start with hello billy which is this deep purple let's just go into it i'm going to do it right in the crease can you guys see me should I zoom in a little bit more there we are i'm just oh this is a mess i'm just packing this right into the crease probably the like inner part you know i probably should have done the orange on the inside and purple on the outside right well we'll do a reverse sunset <laughs> look my eyes are so hooded you can't even see it anyway so you know what maybe i'll just do purple all the way around then and we'll do orange on the outside of it i always have to buff out my eyeshadow so much because like my eyes are super hooded and they're deep set so it makes it really hard but thankfully if I like mess up horribly, I wear glasses most of the time. You guys can't tell, you just see a little bit of color, so it's fine. <laughs> Which I know is why people like, wear glasses. Most of the time we're like, I don't, what's the point of wearing it? No one's gonna be able to see it, but I know it's there and I feel all like, fun and fancy while I wear it. So I figure why not, it makes me happy. This Binks mirror actually works really well too, I will say. I'm trying to kind of like you see, bring it into a little bit of an angle right there. So I like bring it around and then just bring it, try and make a little bit of like a cat eye kind of look right there. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of blend it all out so it won't look hopefully quite so crazy. All right, so I think I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into Life Potion right there and just do it on the outer edges and kind of see if I can buff out the purple with the orange and make it look like the sunset. I'm just doing the orange, or the, yeah, the orange on the outer, like the mid eye to the outer, if that makes sense. So make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, because I've been doing a lot more sneak peeks on there. Whenever I went live yesterday, super spontaneously, I sent a message out, just be like, hey, I'm going to go live. So definitely follow me there. Um, that's the way you'll be able to know what's happening sooner than on YouTube. Ooh, this looks fun. Can you tell? Probably just looks messy on here. I like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just someone who enjoys playing with makeup and does what she can. <laughs> and I think what I'm gonna do is blend out even more on the edges to really get this nice and smooth. Um, there's one called Moon is Round. We're gonna use that right around the edges as well, I think. Ooh, this may be brighter than I expected. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> And I'm gonna bring that just a little bit under the eye, just very lightly. I don't want it to be super blown out, but just enough that it kind of brings a little bit of that purple and a little bit of that orange, like all together in one. And then I think for the shimmers, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do two. I like doing two shimmers on the lid. It just makes it more, I guess, dynamic. I'm gonna do Twist the Bones, the purple one, on the inner portion, and then <laughs> bubble bubble this one on the outer half that's looking fun I feel like a shimmer always saves it and I don't really wear um, fake lashes that much I have a couple pairs I really like but I don't wear them that often because of my glasses unless they're super super tiny they hit the lenses and so at that point it's just not worth wearing I just wear mascara so I have a couple again I wear for special occasions but for the most part I do not do fake lashes so I'll do like a purple here and then the orange here and then I go back in with the purple and kind of mesh it in the middle to help blend them together and it creates like a nice little fade. There's the eye look. This one's definitely a lot more blown out, isn't it? Oh well. Okay, and then I'm gonna use ColourPop. It's their, just their cream gel liner in white on my inner eye. I'm gonna do some mascara. I use Too Faced. So I'm gonna get that stuff on. I'm also gonna do a little bit of black um, eyeliner. This is NYX, the Epic Ink liner. I'm going to do that off camera because I need to focus and I don't want to be distracted by talking to you guys. So I'm going to get all three of these on. I'll come back and we'll do the lip together. Here is the finished eye look. I think it looks really fun. For the lips, I mean you guys know me. I, I want to go for the black because yes, but I also really want to wear this dark purple. I think I'm going to do the merry one all over the lip and then I'm going to do a little bit of the, I guess the Winifred one right in the center to kind of like blot it out. Or should I do it the other way around? Right, let's go for it. I'm gonna put Mary on first just cause I'm curious to see how this looks on me. 
the little uh, applicator on this is kind of a strange it's like a weird little it's a decent shape but it's very small mmm mmm I don't like this color on me well maybe it's not terrible I think just with the bright lights it makes it look worse okay I definitely want to add a little bit of Winnie's to it because I feel like this just needs to be a little bit darker <laughs> okay oh no that's fun look you have a little bit of the pink you can't tell too much but it's pinkish light pink on the outside and then the darker in the middle it's like a very very minimal ombre lip all right some setting spray get my glasses on and then we'll do a roundup let you know my thoughts of everything okay everyone and here is our finished look what do we think I think this looks really cute I'm pleased with it I will say I I don't know if this will be like something is like my go-to but I really did like the formula of this and so I say like if these are your kind of colors I think this is a great palette to have especially if you're a Hocus Pocus fan like me I'm just I'm a collector of Hocus Pocus so I had to have this and I really do like it I think it's a good quality um, and I'll, I will wear it Especially if I'm looking for like fun fall colors, this will be a good one because it has that purple, it has the orange, it has a bit of gold and browns. I'm excited to try out the greens and see how they do. Like maybe a green with a dark brown and really deepen that up. That might be more like a Yule look, but I still think it'd be really, really fun. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. I really do hope you enjoyed this. Let me know your comments down below. Again, which sister are you? Be honest with yourself <laughs> and let me know. Thank you all again for watching. I always appreciate all your love and support. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.